So that's created some problems there when they move through. And it's not just in Louisiana, but also out in Texas. It's important for people to be prepared mm -hmm. as some storms could be moving through a part of the state of Texas as we head into the overnight hours, right? Yes, you are exactly right. So joining us now from the city of Austin is interim PR manager Jennifer Olihan. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Question for you, what threats should residents be aware of heading into the next couple of hours? So really severe thunderstorms, um, large hail, possibly um, damaging winds. And so we really, we urge people to just stay weather aware, really know what's going on in our area, um, know where your safe spaces are ahead of time, the innermost parts of your room. Um, but the biggest thing is really just, just be aware, turn into um, local stations, local weather stations, apps, and, and know what's going on in your area. Jennifer, we think of Elgin, Round Rock, those towns close to Austin, uh, dealing with those tornadoes, EF2s to be exact, earlier in, in the spring season, right as it began. So I'm sure that that's top of mind for a lot of people. I mean, we're not anticipating that type of event, but when you're in that threat, it's good to be prepared. Is the city doing anything in preparation or really just trying to get that messaging out right now? It's getting messaging out. That's the biggest thing. Um, you know, signing up for what we have in Central Texas. We have warncentraltexas.com um, or sorry, .org. So people can go and sign up for emergency alerts. And so when there is severe warnings, um, severe weather, tornado warnings, like we had a couple weeks ago, people got text messages, you know, get off the road that this is coming. And so the biggest thing is to just know what's going on. Um, if severe weather is coming, make sure that you're indoors. That's the safest place for you to be. Um, and then from there, staying tuned um, to, like I said, news and weather so that people, you know, so that you know what's coming. But the other part of that is once you get that alert, what do you do with that information? And so our office really um, prioritizes, you know, making a plan, knowing where your safe space is, because if you haven't thought of all of that by the time that you're getting those alerts, it can be really hard to plan in the moment. Now, Jennifer, so if and when severe weather strikes later on today, what advice do you have for residents that are maybe going to be impacted by this, let's say maybe hit by a tornado? Yeah, so again, just pay attention to what's going on around you. Um, make sure that you're you're looking at local weather and, and know where your safe spot, space is. Um, make sure that you are in the innermost room in your house, that you're not near windows. Um, you know, that you've, you've got all of your family members know what the plan is, you're thinking about your pets, um, gather some supplies that you might need, water, flashlights, that kind of stuff. Um, and, and make sure that you're home. If you have to be on the road for something and you get this warning that there's a tornado, get off the road. Um, you know, we, we saw some images of people a couple weeks ago, um, you know, on the roads filming the tornadoes or trying to outrun it. And really you wanna get inside as soon as possible. And so just making sure that you know what to do in the event that there are those warnings. Certainly good advice. And I like what you said, making sure that you have that emergency preparedness kit and also not just one kit. You want to have multiple. You want to have one in your car, one in your house as well. Well, Jennifer Olihan with the city of Austin, we greatly appreciate your time this afternoon. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.